How's it going? My name is Jeff with the Collector Car Network, and today we're going to be taking a look at a 1989 Ferrari F40 that has gone some serious modifications, now making anywhere between 700 to 1,000 horsepower, depending on the tune. But before we get into walking through this beautiful Ferrari, first, a quick word from our sponsor. Today's Auto Hunter Cinema video is brought to you by Land Air Sea. Keep tabs on all your valuable assets from the palm of your hand. Remember, with Land Air Sea, theft is temporary. Visit LandAirSea.com to order your Land Air Sea GPS unit for your classic vehicle. Okay, so I am standing in front of a 1989 Ferrari F40, but you'll note that this car is finished in Nardo Gray. So if you know anything about F40s, all, see, all of the F40s that came from production models were all finished in Rosso Corsa. So this is actually a color change, which is not something you see very often, especially done to Ferrari. So let's talk about that for a little bit. So this car was delivered new to uh, Ferrari of the Netherlands in November of 1989. And so when this car was delivered, it was of course Rosso Corsa. It then underwent a color change, making it yellow, and then it started racing. This car was actually participating in a variety of different championships, including the Porsche Ferrari Challenge, where this car would actually be racing on tracks around various locations. Now in 2019, the car was acquired by a collector who then decided that he wanted to change the car up a little bit. And what happened was, he took the Ferrari and sent it to Zanassi over in Italy. Now, specifically, Zanassi is located in Marinello, which, if you know anything about Ferrari, is also where Ferrari is located. So Zanassi has actually been doing the paintwork for all of the special vehicle teams and productions for Ferrari for the last 60 years. So there's already a little bit of a history there between Zanassi and Ferrari. So what they did, starting with the color change, is painting the car Nardo Gray. And the car does retain a various amount of race car parts and things like that. But this car has been upgraded. It still retains its 2.9 liter twin turbo V8. Original stock numbers would have been about 471 horsepower, but this one is now producing anywhere between 700 and 1,000 horsepower, depending on the tune. So a couple other things that have been done. We have a quick fuel system set up. We have some aftermarket splitters. Of course, we still have our stereotypical Ferrari styling, no wide body fenders or anything like that that you would expect to see in race car looks. Then as we move to the interior here, we actually have a really cool uh, done padded dash. And then we have our beautiful six speed manual transmission with some blue seats. So the blue seats would not have been factory. That electric blue color is made to be representative and symbolize some of the 1960s race cars that would have existed from Ferrari. So it's sort of uh, paying back the homage, which is, of course, makes sense because this car was racing in a couple different series, as we mentioned earlier, including the, per the Porsche Ferrari Championship. Okay, so there's a few things I want to show you quickly. Now, even though Zanassi heavily modified this car and essentially brought it back to be a street car, there's still a lot of race car components. So some of the things they did resulted in replacing a lot of the fuel tanks, including replacing some of the way that the car was loaded as well, still retaining some of the quick load uh, fuel race type of fuel loadings. Um, so over here, we have our Pininfarina badge, which of course would have been standard on the car, just to represent who designed the beautiful square body that is the F40 that's become such an iconic poster car. Then, taking a look at the wheels here, you can see we actually have aftermarket center lock wheels. So these wouldn't have come on the car, again, more similar to the Ferrari LM, but this is exactly what you would want for racing. Take out the clip, just one bolt to undo, as opposed to the standard five bolts with center lock wheels. Very cool nonetheless. As we get to the back, that 2.9 liter Ferrari V8, we can actually see there's now a bunch of AN fittings that are on the car now. And you can see some of the beefier setups that have been added, including some LM style components. So this wing back here, this is not what would have been the factory wing. This is a carbon fiber wing now that is very similar to what you would have seen on the Ferrari LM cars, which this is not. This is the standard F40, but they have since replaced that. And again, this was done by Zanassi. So this is as if a Ferrari special vehicle team, let's say, had gone in and started modifying the car. That's essentially what you'll find here with this F40. We have a triple exhaust out the bottom and then a pretty simple, straightforward grate with no extra badging or anything like that. So that is just a quick look at this Nardo Gray Ferrari, which again, every single F40 would have come in Rosso Corsa from the factory. This car has undergone three color changes, but has been beautifully restored by Zanassi. So, if you guys are looking for a collector car like this, be sure to check out autohunter.com, which is our online auctions with cars going live every single weekday, or classiccars.com, which is our online marketplace, which has over 33,000 cars currently live on the site. And if you enjoyed that video, go ahead and hit that like button for us. We really appreciate it. And get subscribed for more content like that in the future. Thank you so much for watching.